Hey guys, welcome back to the Hat House. Appreciate you guys tuning back in. Today's video, we've got a ton of sales going out, highlighted by a huge mistake. I sold a hat for like $5. I meant to price it around $45. I priced it for $5 and it sold immediately. Uh, but I also got some other cool sales in here. Uh, there are plenty of hats that you're going to want to look out for. We've got a sports specialty script. It was a newer one. Really cool Mariners hat uh, that went out. And then I've also got a Pepsi three-stripe hat that's going out. That one was really cool. Uh, and a bunch of sports hats. The sports hats are selling really well. Before we get to the sales today, I want to go over some questions that have come up over the last week. We've got a bunch of new subscribers in, and I really appreciate you guys uh, for tuning in and subscribing. That really helps me keep making this content and putting out these great hat sales for you guys. But uh, the first question that I had that I, that I want to address came from Texas fan 490. He asks, why does the camera at your computer suck so bad? Well, it was $30. It was from Walmart. And I fancy myself as a hat seller more than a YouTuber. But rest assured, I have bought a new camera. It's on the way. Uh, hopefully, you'll see me in 4K real soon, and we'll get that fixed for you. The second question that I got was from Bevo's buddy, um, and he asked, what is the name of your eBay store? Now, this the answer to this question is a little bit more complex. I will tell you that my eBay store is not hard to find. It's basically the same name over on eBay, but I really didn't want to put a link in there in the description to my eBay store quite yet. One, because I'm really not trying to sell you guys anything. Two, it would really bring down my conversion rate in my store. And I know that you guys want to look at the listings that I have and uh, want to browse around in the store, but just not to a point yet that I even thought that my YouTube channel would get over a thousand subscribers. And I really didn't want that traffic. I will probably release it sometime very soon. I'll probably put it up, make an easy clickable link for you guys, uh, but just, just not quite yet. I uh, just want to continue to grow the channel a little bit. Um, and like I said, you can find me if you want to find me. Um, it's not a huge secret of what my store is, uh, but just didn't want to put that easy clickable link in there quite yet. Uh, just because of the conversion rate in my store is really important. This is my full-time job. Uh, it's full-time income for us for eBay. And my conversion rate is really important on eBay right now. So I hope you guys understand that. The last thing that I wanted to cover with you guys today was just how the channel is going to be set up. I'm probably going to put out the hat sales videos on Tuesday and then on Thursdays, I'll put out another video and these videos will either be more of the deep dive into the specific hat brands that we're looking for out there or the process type of videos like the hat washing video. And if you haven't seen our storage video of how we store all our hats and just how we kind of run our eBay store, I'll put those types of videos out on Thursday and try to keep this kind of schedule of Tuesdays and Thursdays of putting out videos for you guys uh, so you'll know when to look for the new ones. Once again, appreciate everybody that's come aboard over the last week. Um, it keeps me motivated to keep putting these videos out. So now let's get to the garage and see what's sold. All right, guys, let's get to shipping. First up, we've got a Orlando 2012 All-Star Game Adidas Strapback Hat. Next up was a camo Kyle Busch, number 18, flex fit hat, camouflage. Next up was a Jordan, Michigan visor, super clean. I don't think it's ever been worn. Next up was a Oklahoma City Thunder. So glad basketball season is getting closer. Finally sell some Thunder hats. Next up, you'll want to hit the like button for this one. This was really cool. It's not vintage, but it is sports specialties. Script hat. Just kind of a retro, newer one. Had a little dent here. Might have went for a little bit more. But uh, it was super clean. I don't think it's ever been worn. But uh, really cool. Sports specialty script. If you find... I mean, it's a different color, too. But uh, if you find the actual vintage ones... They're not $40. They're more than that. Next up was a really cool vintage 
Ruger, super clean. Gun hats always do really well, especially during the fall and winter, during hunting seasons. Next up was uh, Notre Dame. This was a kind of rough shape. It was uh, top of the world. Notre Dame had a lucky clover. They need all the luck they can get. Next up was a Brixton hat, regular Brixton snapback. Next up was a LRG Lifted Research Group, I believe is what it stands for. Strap back hats. Next up was a Dartmouth hat. Always pick up, if you want a quick flip, always pick up the Ivy League school hats. They do really well. Next up was just a plain dog hat. Just had a dog on the front. Snap back. Next up was a Pepsi three strap trucker. These are really cool. It's this one would have done better, but it had it was on the Samsung, Samsung, and uh, they just don't sell this for as high as some of the other vintage brands. If it was like in K Products or something like that, it's still a really cool Pepsi three strap. Next up was a pink women's hat, pink Victoria's Secret. Still have the tag too. Next up, I messed up. All right, so this was a, I can't even think of the team name right now, but this was a vintage minor league, what's the team name? Prince Williams Cannons. Prince Williams Cannons. Super cool snapback hat. Got distracted, priced it for $4.88. I meant to price it for $44.88. It sold in about two seconds before I could fix it but it's going out. They got a great deal. Next up was a Roxy hat, snapback Roxy women's hat. Next up was a Kavu hat. These Kavu hats have been selling lately. Always does well. Next up was a Vans, trucker Vans hat. I think this one on Macari. And then last up was a cool Nike camouflage Oregon Ducks hat. Ducks hats keep selling well. All right, guys, let's see what's going out today. Again, I forgot to start hit the record button. That happens every now and then. Uh, first up was a uh, Steelers. This is just a fitted vintage hat. It wasn't in the best of shape. Somebody might try to restore it and bring it back to a better, cleaner life. But it's kind of cool. It's just not a really good brand either of hat. This is DeLong, I believe, size 7. So hopefully they can get it cleaned up. Next up was a NFL Shield hat by Sports Specialties. Typically I will tell you to mark this up a little bit. Uh, the NFL Shield, the MLB Shield, they are do really well. Uh, there's just not a lot out there a lot of times. This was on the newer Sports Specialties tag that you can see right here. But uh, it also had this stain on it that wouldn't come out. So it really hurt the value on this hat. Uh, but always look out for the NFL Shields. They can do really well. Next up was a Ruka hat, just a regular trucker, clean. Next up was a Nike golf hat. Uh, and this one, this logo usually does a little bit better. It's a little bit older Nike golf logo. And this was Stormfit. The only problem with this hat, it would usually be around a $20 hat, was it had some staining. The sweat staining on the front didn't come out when I washed it. Uh, so it went for a little cheaper. Next up was this God's Food Pantry food bank hat. This is just a regular hat. Typically these hats are $10 or under when people just put their logos on them and they're kind of an obscure brand or logo. Next hat was a Southern proper dog hat. It had the dog logo on it for the dog lovers. Next up was a Halloween special. We had another train conductor hat going out. This one was vintage made in USA fitted train conductor hat. These are really hit and miss between 10. Sometimes they'll go for over 20 if you find somebody wanting that exact size. Next hat was a Columbia ski hat. Uh, I call them ski hats. I call them winter hats. Trapper hats with the ear flaps on them. This one was just not in the greatest shape and not the most desirable model of this or color, but it was vintage size large. Next hat was Alabama Crimson Tide. This was a Y2K mid-2000s starter hat, strap back. Just not the best logo on the front. 
So it was kind of a basic hat. It was an almost like new condition though. Next hat is gonna be a good lesson in uh, pricing. I get the question all the time. Uh, pricing comes through knowledge really. But you take a look at this hat. This is the Moscow Bears. I think that's Moscow, Idaho high school team. And it's probably a early eighties hat that you just got to know that if you find somebody from Moscow, Idaho that went to this high school that loved their football team or baseball team, how much would they pay to have this piece of history back? And I would say 30 to $50 typically. I think this one went around 30. Um, I took an offer uh, on it because you could wait for a year to get 50 or you could take the 30 today. And usually I'll take the 30 today. Next up, we got another pricing lesson. This is a Atlanta Braves hat. And when you're looking at pricing your MLB fitted new era hats, the basic colorways, the, the regular team hats can go for uh, the 15 to 20 range typically if it's in decent condition. When you wanna start pricing these up to the 30 to 40 and even more, is when you have a different color and you have you might have the only size and this is a good size seven and three eighths you might have the only size and the only color on the market at the time so you want to mark these up a little bit um, people will pay for it to get that specific color in the hat and team that they want and the size when all those things come together for a buyer uh, uh, they will pay uh, a little bit more than a regular color hat next up was a titleist Nice colors, the Titleist are usually the, the basic ones, kind of like the other one. The basic ones are $10. If you find one that has a different colorway and people are looking for this exact color and they really like this green on the white, uh, they'll pay 15 to 20 for them because maybe the Titleist store is out of them. So just, uh, just know when you have a different color, you gotta know what the basic hats are and when you have a little different color, that might be a little more rare. Next up was a Miller Racing, just a vintage Miller Racing hat trucker hat foam was still there pretty much wasn't falling out yet snap back next up we had a coliseum minnesota golden gophers strap back next hat was just a blank hunting camo hat by signatures last up is our poshmark sale for the day we had a vintage feel a hat going out really cool kind of this was more of like a nostalgia thing Somebody might have had this hat when they were growing up and they really, uh, they'll pay $20 to get it back no matter what the condition is. As long as it's not too dirty, people really like to get things back from their childhood like their old Fila hat. All right, let's see what we got going out in this batch. First up was this Oddness Fly and Fly We Trust. I've had this one for quite a while. Just a regular snapback. Never seen that brand before. Next up was a Miami Dolphins 39-30 flex fitted. Next up was a really cool Nike golf hat. This one was vintage and fitted. There's the vintage tag on there. Really cool, had the Nike golf metal emblem on the back too. Cool hat. Uh, next up was just a McDonald's crew hat. It's actually five panel. It was clean. Next hat was a nice Mart. It just said Marlin on it. Uh, it wasn't really a brand, just kind of a vintage corduroy hat. Really crisp, clean. Corduroy hats really take off here in the fall and winter. Uh, next up was Taco Bell, just a Taco Bell crew hat, snapback. Next up was another corduroy hat. This one was Santa Cruz. Zip back vintage corduroy hat. Next up was no brand, but it had a cool USA patch logo on the front. Snapback hat, it was clean. Next up was a regular Gap dad hat. This is a strap back. Next up was a uh, Chevron patch hat. Oil and gas always does really well. Next up was a Napa Auto Parts camo hat, snapback.
Next up was a cool wolf embroidered hat. This is a cool vintage hat. The wolf embroidered on the front. Next up was a UCF. My Sooners barely beat them. They put up a good fight. This was 2017. Uh, what was that? American Athletic Conference Champions. Really cool hat by New Era. Next up was a uh, vintage fat farm. I think this one went for around 20. It was even fitted. It was cool. Fat farm does okay. It's kind of hit and miss. Mine kind of hit. Next up was a vintage Carhartt hat. And this is this is one that was uh, lined, had the ear flaps. Uh, lots of people sent me offers for $10 on it, $15. I think I ended up going for 20 to 25. But uh, the bill wasn't that great on it. But still, I don't let these hats go for under 20. Um, it's not a regular hat. It's it's a lot better made than a regular snapback mesh back that people get Carhartt hats for ten dollars. So just a little more quality. You can always price these up a little bit. Next up was uh, Oregon Ducks Nike strapback hat. Uh, next up was a Dale Junior blue camo strapback NASCAR hat. Next hat was a really cool vintage. Seattle Seahawks flat cap. He was even branded NFL snapback flat cap. Next up was the Colorado Rockies gray dad hat by 47. Next up was a vintage Nike beanie. Or sorry, bucket hat. This is a bucket hat. Next up was a Prana snapback hat. Had kind of like camping on it. Prana hats are hit and miss. Next up was an Adidas, lightweight Adidas hat. Just a regular strap back. Pink logo, women's. Next up was a vintage. This was all leather. Had the big circle patch on it. And I have no idea until I put it up here what this sold for. I would be interested to see. Because uh, I've had it for a long time. But uh, this was just kind of a different hat. Not exactly sure what this company is either. If you know, let me know down in the comments. It's the Sonnet All Leather Vintage Hat. Next up was uh, Nebraska Cornhuskers Camo. Dad hat. All right, next up was a really cool 90s colorway. And that's really how I described it. I didn't really care about this logo right here or whatever was on it. I think I put 90s, bright. And this was also on our how to source video. I'll, I'll link that up here as well. And we bought this off of eBay um, in a hat lot for like $2. I think this one sold for uh, 20. Vintage 90s colorway snapback. Really cool hat. Next hat was just kind of uh, stained up, had some white paint on it. Said good gear, usually a really great brand, good hat. It's in good condition as a $20 hat, but this one just uh, had the paint all over it. Next up was a Hurley hat, in really good condition, almost like new, super clean, flex fit. Next hat was an NCAA Final Four, um, yeah, 1992, snapback. Trucker hat. All right, next up is this M&M painter hat. This is a vintage M&M pa painter hat. Kind of the flex fit on the back. All right, next up was uh, Indian motorcycles. Snapback hat. Next up was a uh, vintage Columbia bucket hat. Really good condition. Next up was Calgary Stampede, snapback, vintage trucker hat, cool patch on it. Next up was a Tap Out hat, Tap Out usually does pretty good. This is like a large, extra large, flex fitted Tap Out. Next up was a Polo Ralph Lauren, big pony, leather strap back. If these are clean, they can do really well. Um, 
$30, but this one was pretty dirty. It's kind of a beige color, but still had a lot of dirt on it, even though it was uh, cleaned, just stained. Next up was a cool Nike hat. Had a flag on the side, swoosh on the back, and said Nike USA on the front. Really cool hat. Next up was another polo, Ralph Lauren, white, strap back, regular dad hat. Next up was a women's Puma, army style cap. Had the big cat on the side. And this, if, if you're not familiar with the army style caps, they kind of have this panel that goes all the way around and this panel on top. A lot of times they will be in camo but uh, sometimes they're not. And usually they're women's style. This was cool. Next up was a really cool Atlanta Braves. Uh, this one was black and red, uh, fitted, seven and three quarters, kind of older, Y2K, cool hunt. Next up was that Eastern Sierra Bridge Merino. These hats do pretty good usually. Never had seen this brand before Econel, but it was just a not lightweight nylon hat. Really cool. Next up was uh, New England Patriots uh, script hat. I would still call it script. I mean, it's not the, the awesome sports specialty script you're looking for, but this is kind of written out. Somebody may go with this hat, a little more economical. But uh, it was this one's by The Game, which is also has some good vintage brands, too. Always want to look for that logo in the good styles. Next up was a uh, vintage Seattle Mariners. This one was by Twins Enterprise. Still had the tags on it. I think I got like three or four $10 offers on this hat. I waited. I think it went for 20. Next hat was an LL Bean, kind of a winter ski hat with the ear flaps, really good condition, adjustable. LL Bean. Oh, this had weather channel on it too. I guess you uh, can do a weather report in this hat. Next hat was also from our hat buy. Uh, you wanna check out that video. Um, I'm gonna give an update on it soon. But this was just a GTO hat, and I was basically showing y'all how to source and flip items from eBay and buy hat lots and then sell them back onto eBay as individual hats. Paid about $3 a hat on these. I think this one went for $15 or $20. Next up was a pink, Victoria's Secret pink hat, strap back. Next up was a Ohio State Buckeyes, Zephyr, flex fitted. Uh, next up was a good Patagonia. This was an advisor. If this was on a regular hat, it might have been more than 25. But this is Great Pacific Ironworks, which is a really good patch to catch on Patagonia. This one went for 25. Next up was another polo hat. And this one just had a stain right here. Uh, but it was leather. Nice that polo dad hat. If you get them super clean, uh, you can get close to $30. But uh, when they add, it's kind of stained up, it's usually $15 to $20. Uh, next up was an uh, Aeropostale. I think this went out on Macari. Flex fit hat. Next hat was an Orlando. Orlando City. This is uh, a soccer team. Orlando soccer team. Adidas. Strap back. And our last hat today was a cat hat, caterpillar. This one was camo. Had most of the foam cleaned out of it, but not all of it. I disclosed that as well. It still sold really well. These uh, camo was hard to find, so.